Hey guys, I'm Oxy, and today we're gonna talk about another forgotten weapon. This time the Gatling gun, yes. When did you see somebody using the Gatling gun lately? Well, there is a couple of reasons why people are not using this heavy weapon anymore, but this thing is actually really really good. But before we're gonna start the video, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to press the like button, maybe subscribe, I also have a great Discord server. It's actually the best Discord server in the world. You can find a link in the description. You can join, talk with me, talk with other people from the channel. And we can have some fun over there. And now let's start with the video. So we are at Vestec and let's see the Gatling gun. Now, why people are not using this weapon anymore? The answer is very simple. We got Ammo Factory, right? And Ammo Factory the legendary perk you can make so much ammo from so much extra ammo that it's just insane so everybody's using weapons that have higher dps higher fire rate and it's understandable the gatling gun doesn't have the highest fire rate ever right but it sure does have the damage look at this we have the ammo capacity with this weapon, 500. For some reason I have 500 in the normal bag. That, that's just weird. We should have 250, but looks like we have 500. Oh well, doesn't bother me. Now the idea is with this weapon that is not the fastest weapon in the world. It's not gonna out DPS. A minigun, gatling laser, gauss minigun and things like that. But it's really ammo efficient this weapon and it's doing really good damage. But just people forgot about this weapon because you know with ammo factory, ammo smith and super duper you can craft so much ammo that it's just unreal. So ammo is really not a problem anymore in this game. But as you can see, this Gatling gun is performing really, really good. No issue at all. Just killing everything very easy. I like the aim with this one. We have, we finally have a good aim for this one. And yeah. What can I say about this weapon? It's one of my favorite weapons in the game. I really love the minigun, Gatling laser. The gas minigun, it's, it would be my second favorite one. What is that dog? But this thing, it's, it's still number one for me. I don't really use it lately. Just because of the same reason, to be honest. I have Ammo Factory on 3. And with Ammo Smith and Super Duper, I can get, you know, a lot of ammo. And a minigun or a Gatling laser is just better. But this thing for a player, for a new player, would be perfect. Because it's ammo efficient, have good damage. And it's easy to get the mods for this thing and doesn't have a bunch of mods to be honest. Now let's go and kill Swan. So we're gonna kill Swan but first let's kill some floaters. Let's see what we can do. Hey please don't move. That's not fair. This one is doing fire damage. That will have damage over time but that's fine. Even if we are bloodied, we are pretty tanky. That one is dead. We should get one more here. Look at that, he's dead. Really, really easy to use the Gatling gun. Good aim. Not the highest fire rate possible in the game, but we have the damage to back up. Now let's kill Swan, and I'm actually gonna use this one for Swan. This one is with faster fire rate, so as you can see this one have higher DPS. The damage is a little bit lower because the other one is explosive, but this one is gonna do the job just fine. Let's go and kill Swan. So again, the thing is, it just... Just people forgot about this weapon. When you have so many great choice for heavy weapons, why people would use... You know, the Gatling gun. And, well, where are you going? Spawn in the air. And is that really good? 
TPS over there, we just kill him really easy to get some dark food. Yes, we do actually. Well, that's my lucky day. Now let's go and kill some Scorpies. That's gonna be again easy. This is gonna be a really casual uh, video. Just going killing stuff because heavy weapons are anyway good. It's just this thing that is so underrated and people forgot about it. Right, so let's kill some easy. Not an issue. Do we get a scorch beast? Do we have a scorch beast? Not a problem with scorch. We can just hold down the trigger and it's gonna be really good. Now I don't have blocker put it up and I should really put up blocker especially for the melee dudes because they do tend to one shot you. But that poison is not gonna affect as much since I do have funky dudes so yeah. I'm not getting scared anymore from that poison if I'm in power armor thank god. You see some stagger over there. Yeah, more melee dudes. The staggering is working really, really well on this weapon. Now, if I could aim for the guys, nice. Still have so two scorch holidays, which is, I guess, it's nice. There you go, a junkie stamina made a pistol. Now, the question is, would you just land? Yes, you would, but you're gonna attack the things over there, hmm? Huh? Ah. <sighs> What do we have over there? Some gold parts. That's nice. Can we get you on the ground? That's a question because... There you go. We're doing some good damage over there. Come down, Scorch Beast. I don't have all day for you. Let's just read it out. There you go. Now we have 251 mag as it should we have. Now if my aim would be better with the heavy gun. Not really used to use the Gatling gun anymore. The problem is, you know, with the minigun. When that Scorpius was down, we could just burn her down. And with, with this one, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's still good. Not gonna use the explosive ones since for this uh, they do reduce a lot of explosive damage. This one is good enough. Cool Slayer Ultra Gatling Laser, that's a wonderful Gatling Laser. Let's see this Scorch. Easy peasy. It's a steam pack. Just because not that Scorch, come on. Are you gonna land or... Oh yeah, you're gonna land, okay. And she's dead. Killing two Scorch Beasts casually. Really easy. Now, it would be faster with another type of... Eh? We just got the Gatling gun, there you go. Would be faster with another type of weapon like a minigun, Gatling laser, gas minigun. Yeah, sure. But this thing is doing the job and it's extremely ammo efficient. You're not gonna use thousands of rounds with this one in a couple of minutes, you know. Because this one really have the punching damage. Let's see if we can get something. Um, one more score beast from here. We get the scorch. It's that or that scorch. Let's use the explosive one. We're gonna get one here from the Hellhole. Nope, we're not getting one. Ah, oh, come on, I would really want to kill some more stuff. Oh, well, looks like this is it. 
plus starts with my mutations and everything. So adrenal reaction, pretty standard mutations again. Adrenal reaction, carnivore, egghead. That's only because more intelligence because of the scoreboard, marsupial for jumping, speed demon for faster reload, adrenal reaction because we are blooded right now, so we can get a little bit more damage. Carnivore, just because I prefer carnivore on this one, it used to be herbivore. I can change it anytime I want. I do run junkies, heavy weapons on this one, so I have five addictions. We are currently in nerd rage, you know. Pretty standard stuff here. Now let's go to the weapons that everybody's curious. We have this one and the armor explosive Gatling gun. Pretty nice one. Blooded faster fire rate, which we did use. Nice damage on it and the fire rate is really good. The blooded explosive reduce weight. This one have the higher damage, you know, 320. That's that's actually really good. And we just got this one, we just got this one. There's this one also, Junkies. If when I'm running full health and I want to use a Gatling gun, this one is also pretty nice. Junkies, faster fire rate, damage resistance when reloading. You always need a speed receiver on these things along battle, comfort grip and standard magazine. If you put the drum mag, it's kind of blocking your aim, which I don't really like. And we anyway have 251 mag. That's good enough. And no muzzle. Don't put a spear on it. You can put like a spear on this thing and punch with that. It, we don't want that. That's not good. Uh, we have the junkies explosive one also again same mods that's that's it about the weapons like uh, you can get multiple variation of the gatling gun vampire explosive also would be nice and furious explosive um, you know all the stuff like that in general gatling guns are just good and here i'm going with the t65 armor which is important is just to have the emergency protocol that's the most important one for us and now we can go to perks pretty standard heavy gunner build nothing really exceptionally we can switch traveling pharmacy for blocker if we're doing a boss fight like scorch Queen and earl williams because they do tend to do pretty high melee damage other than that, just the heavy gunner perks, one point in bare arm, because why not? Put your bounty here, because I was looking for some uh, meat. Fireproof to reduce explosive damage, pretty cool, because... Just because, to be honest, I have a little bit of carry weight. We can switch this for camp find, which is useful again in boss fights, if you're using any camp to make it to last a little bit longer. Field surgeon to make steam packs to work faster. Strange in numbers to share all the good stuff from mutations, tenderizer for more damage, first aid to make those steam packs to heal a little bit more, power user because we do have a lot of fusion core, stabilize must have for any type of heavy gunner build, and keep in mind stabilize is only working in power armor. Battery is included because I do use energy weapons and I have like 50 fusion cores on me. Nerd rage because we are blooded, adrenaline for more damage, and action girl to get back that AP a little bit faster. That can be changed for whatever you want. You can put up dodgy or you can put up enforce. Or if you have a shotgun to cripple the scorch be screen. And lock one gun army for staggering. Staggering work, works really well on the Gatling gun as you could see on the scorch enemies. Strange is to keep the mutations. Ricochet because it's a good perk to avoid some, some uh, range weapon damage. That's pretty good. It can be changed for bloody mass if you want to use it. Now let's go to legendary perks. This is really important here. Like I said, ammo factory. Everybody have this. Everybody's making more ammo. So, you know, there is not much of a point to using the Gatling gun now since you can make so much ammo. That's why people forgot about this weapon. Now funky dudes, because I don't want to be bothered with poison damage from scorch beast from crabs and things like that i just don't want to be bothered i like funky dudes taking one for the team obviously for more damage sizzling style for the same reason as funky dudes this one is just for fire damage power sprinter because i do sprint a lot in power armor and you know to not take as much ap is good power armor reboot must have if you're full health low health in power armor this thing is automatically giving you another health Another just reviving instantly. If your health is to zero, you know you died, you just proc in the perk and you are back. You're not gonna even get down. 
just automatically reviving you. It's a good perk. Yeah, that's about the build and the weapon. So this is it guys, this is the Gatling gun, a very underrated heavy weapon, but it's really good. So from now on when you found a good Gatling gun, just use it, very ammo efficient, good on damage, so there is no reason not to use this thing. So this is it guys, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to press the like button, maybe to subscribe, I also have a great discord server, it's actually the best discord server in the world, you can find a link in the description. You can join, talk with me, talk with other people from the channel and we can have some fun. And obviously, see you guys in the next video.